You know, when we consider all of the change that's happening both internally in IT organizations and externally, the only conclusion can be the data center is dynamic. And it's dynamic whether IT organizations and businesses would like them to be dynamic or not. Every day, users are bringing their own devices. And that's expanding to bring your own application or bring your own cloud. In addition to that, different services like Box and Dropbox are being added to the data center either implicitly or explicitly every day. Marketing organizations add more microsites. HR organizations outsource their HR applications and extend clouds, sometimes in a planful way with IT organizations, but equally as often without them. Organizations prioritize work based on technological needs and not necessarily aligned to the business. Now the way to solve the dynamic data center challenge is to really just internalize this quote by Steve Jobs. You got to start with the customer experience and work backwards to the technology. Starting with that customer experience is all about making the services available that consumers need, that employees need at the time that they need them. Gaining access to IP regardless of what sort of computes that they're carrying around, whether that be a smartphone, a laptop, or any other sort of device. And what's most important about the experience is it needs to be utility-based. It always needs to be available. It needs to be cost-effective. For IT organizations to get to that next generation, they also need to think about reinvesting and re-architecting from the point of people, process, tools, and technology. And it really all starts with structure and role evolution. The first thing is the area of business management. And business management needs to expand at an unprecedented level, simply because of BYOD, because of the expansion of cloud-based and SaaS-based solutions, and the fact that as consumers move faster, lines of business need to move faster. So an annual planning cycle doesn't make sense anymore. And the way IT organizations can accomplish that are by one, investing in and being an integral part of the business. And then partner and vendor management become equally important. As companies expand into SaaS solutions and into the cloud, we consider things like security risks of moving critical business data, and then the impact of upgrades that are no longer within the control of an IT organization. For example, a CRM system or an HR system that's sitting in the cloud. And on the operational side, organizations are colliding and changing in ways that no one ever anticipated before. There's a new role of operations architects. How to plan the data center so that companies can respond to the dynamic nature of what's happening around the consumers. DevOps is a place where applications developers and operations organizations are coming together. In the past, those were two totally separate organizations that may procedurally be tied together. Now those roles are blended and need to execute in a way that no one ever conceived of before in order to get the speed to get at consumer opportunities. And in the area of facilities, there's a big push for facilities organizations and IT organizations to come together simply because of the utility of the footprint and all of the elements of the data center are driving the majority of facilities costs. So some organizations are actually bringing those functions together. So from a business and operational perspective, IT organizations are in the throes of change, it's early, and it will accelerate. You know, another way to think about the change that's going on within IT organizations is in the area of process and approach. And what this slide's talking about are different types of systems within organizations. Systems of innovation, which are systems that need to change very, very quickly to get at a market opportunity. Systems of differentiation, which don't quite change at the same pace that are very specific to a company or an industry segment. Maybe it's a HIPAA compliance application for healthcare. And then systems of record like ERP systems or core banking transaction systems that have got to be very deliberate in the way that they change because the risk associated with a poor change is very costly to a business and potentially catastrophic. Historically, IT organizations have been split up in three ways, applications development, distributed operations, and mainframe or system Z operations. And those organizations, from a point of things like DevOps, have got to be able to compete and expand business services in a way that's similar to SaaS companies. So when someone engages a SaaS company, it simply becomes a conversation of rapid enablement and onboarding. And there is no conversation about the amount of time it takes 
for a new set of services to be developed and deployed to becoming available to a customer. We're in a lot of IT organizations. The spanning of those boundaries organizationally slows organizations down and causes them to miss in terms of business opportunity. So the next step and the next stage for IT organizations is going to be to come together and not only reconsider the structural changes, but the process changes that are going to improve business responsiveness, and largely through the area of DevOps.